All right, Tom, just in uh, regards to uh, Mr. Givens' uh, departure, um, with, with fuel prices, electricity prices rising at, uh, in this uncertain time, do you feel this is the right time for the First Minister to resign? Well, I know the First Minister has resigned. The Assembly will still be bringing forward the package for the to help people with fuel poverty, those that have difficulty in paying their bills, uh, with the rising energy um, prices that we have. So, uh, I mean, that program is still ongoing. It will be ongoing and it will be delivered, although the First Minister has gone. Now, with regards to the First Minister resigning, uh, I think uh, people's well aware of the situations around that. Uh, and the party leader, Geoffrey Donaldson, has spelt those out uh, on the media. And I think the people are aware of the fact that the protocol is causing the problem. The party leader has been patient from last September right through until now. And yet the government still, while they gave commitments of what they were going to do, they actually done nothing. And we are in a position where we just can't simply straddle along with a protocol that's in place that's destroying the economy of Northern Ireland, costing us £100,000 per hour, £2.5 million a day. We can't continue to do that and being ignored by the government so we have to take action to put pressure on the government uh, to say look as far as we're concerned enough is enough it's time for you to step up to the plate and uh, deliver for us or else we have to take uh, this alternative action yeah it's uh, almost uh, 24 hours since mr given made his announcement what has been the reaction from your local constituents well, uh, so, so, uh, it's, it's the same as no matter what you do. Some people feel it's the wrong move to make. Other people feel, yeah, you've done, you've done the right thing because we can't go on the way that we're going. Northern Ireland can't uh, be treated differently than the rest of the United Kingdom. And therefore, uh, you know, there's, as I say, the majority of people that actually have been on the phone to me have said, folk, you've done the right thing. Mm -hmm. um, would you back calls for an early election, Tom, or where do you stand? Well, so far, so far as I'm concerned, so far as the party's concerned, that is a matter for the Secretary of State. If the Secretary of State chooses to call an early election, that's his call. If he does that, then we're ready for that election. We're ready to take on that battle. We're ready to take our message to the people and give the people of Northern Ireland the opportunity to spell it out to the government, uh, their, their, their thoughts on these issues. Yeah, just a final question then. Um, have the party made a decision on who will be standing in West Tyrone? Yes, well, uh, th that is that. Ha I suppose the party hasn't made no announcements as yet as to who's going to be standing in in, in, uh, in the different areas. But yeah, I'm hopeful. Okay.